Hello all, and welcome back to The Week in Tim View, the show where I bring you the highlights of my week in the hope that they'll brighten up your week. Wow! Amazing, right? Well, first up is this Korean steamed egg. I've been totally addicted to making this the past week or so. I've probably made it like five times in the past two weeks. It is just so good and so easy and so simple. I got the recipe from famous Korean chef YouTuber Mangchi. It is so easy to make and you don't even need this clay earthenware bowl. You can use any heavy bottom pot to do it. The recipe is dead simple. Eggs, chicken stock, add some green onions in there, salt and pepper. I use the secret ingredient Korean beef stock dashida to make it a little bit more flavorful but it's totally optional. Mix it well and the key when you're cooking it is to not put the heat too high and add this domed bowl as a lid. So the steam can accumulate and create the nice fluffy steamed egg texture you're looking for and then finish it with a little sesame oil drizzle right on top this is just so good and so simple and so tasty you should definitely make it if you've never made it before it is so good and I'm sure you'll make it again because it is just that good. As an added bonus, try pairing it with Trader Joe's soup dumplings. These are a nice cheap alternative to going out and buying soup dumplings. Yeah, they may not have the total 100% restaurant quality taste, but I mean for frozen soup dumplings, once you steam them, they are actually quite good and much cheaper too, so give them a shot, give it a try. Trust me, try this egg, it is so good, it'll change your life and you'll just want to make it over and over again. It goes perfectly as a side dish or with some kimchi or with hot rice or all of the above. It's so simple and easy and fits so well with so many different things. Next up, what I wanted to show you guys is this Hello Kitty Shinkansen or Japanese bullet train. Have you guys ever seen this? It's totally Hello Kitty themed from the outside to the interior to special Hello Kitty themed seats. There's Hello Kitty lunch boxes or bento. The first car of the train is a unique Hello Kitty shop with limited edition Hello Kitty themed items. And in the lunch boxes, there's a Hello Kitty fish cake. Just in general, the food looks pretty good. And also these lunch boxes are ceramic, so you can take them home. They're nice little souvenirs. If Japan opens up and we can ever visit there, I I would definitely love to give this a look. It's just so Japan, you know? It's just that one-of-a-kind Japanese experience you just can't really get anywhere else. And here's a shortened version of this next level Korean barbecue I found on this channel called Tasty Travel. These guys wet age their pork. They slice it into fat chunks, fire roast, sear it on the grill, bring it to your table where you have a table side grill where they chop it up into smaller chunks and then sear the outside of each chunk to finish cooking it thoroughly. The channel says it's the best pork barbecue in Korea and I mean I've never been to Korea but it definitely looks like a contender to me. I wanted to include this because the process for barbecue that the Koreans have reached is something that I think is just truly noteworthy. This level of attention to detail in Korean barbecue. It looks phenomenal. In other news, I just hit my Duolingo 1000 day streak. So I've been learning Japanese for almost three years now. And have you guys ever wondered if Duolingo is actually worth your time? Well, I'm currently working on a video that'll be posted soon detailing exactly what I've learned through using Duolingo all this time and the other tools and stuff that I've used to help me learn Japanese and my whole journey so far. So keep a lookout for that video coming up soon. And I posted about this in the community tab. I told you guys I love these chips and they're actually getting somewhat hard to find. I don't know if Kettle discontinued them, but these are so good and I hit the mother load. Less than $2 a bag. I stocked up. If you're in the US and you like truffle, try out these chips. They are just that good. I, I swear they are really good. And for the show feature this week is this anime called Osama Ranking or Ranking of Kings. It's an anime that's still currently airing, it follows this young prince Boji who is born into this land where kings are ranked based on their own personal strength and the size and strength of their kingdom. And Boji's father is uh, pretty high up there and he's a giant, literally, and super strong and Boji is set to be his heir. But the thing is, is that Boji is mute and small and weak, so the whole kingdom sort of doesn't believe in him. 
While the animation may look a bit kind and gentle, the story is actually very interesting with a lot of political plot twists and intrigue, kind of akin to Game of Thrones in a lot of ways. It's very interesting, there's a lot of twists and turns, and you really feel for the main character, Boji, just being this small, weak, mute prince, trying his best to become the number one king in the land. Definitely recommend it, give it a shot if you haven't seen it or you haven't heard of it before. But yeah, I think that'll about do it for this week in TimView. So yeah, let me know what you guys have been up to, any recommendations for me to check out. As always, thanks so much for watching, hopefully this made your day a little bit more interesting, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah! Wow, wow, wow. Amazing, right?